Well, hey friends, welcome back to Homemade Homestead. My name is Rachel, if you're new to our channel, and today I'm bringing you a full week of frugal food that we feed for our family of five. Going to be six soon, and I hope you guys get inspired by the different meals that I make throughout this week. So enough talking, let's get right into these meals. Well, good morning, guys. We are making a BLT frittata. This comes from the Trim Healthy Mama Cookbook, the inspiration from it. Okay, so here is the mixture with the egg and the onion, the tomatoes, the cheese, salt, pepper, and parsley. I have a huge cast iron pan. I chopped up my turkey bacon, so that is in there. All of that egg mixture. So now I'm gonna cover it and let it kind of cook for about five-ish minutes until the egg just starts to set. I'm, then I'm gonna pop it under my broiler for a few minutes until it gets nice and golden brown at the top. Here is the beautiful frittata. All right, for lunch today we did some tortilla pizzas, just some marinara sauce and cheese with some apple slices and some carrot sticks. And that is what the kids are gonna have for lunch. Jesse and I will probably just find leftovers. That's kind of what we tend to do. So. All right guys, so for dinner tonight we are making the Navajo tacos. It's our version. We're actually making a cornbread waffle. So I will leave a link to the recipe. I found this on the internet, uh, kayleecooks.com. It's a new recipe, but I change it up all the time for the cornmeal part. So I have some gluten-free flour that we're gonna use, some cornmeal, yeah. the sweetener I'm gonna yeah, use. This too. I'm making my own buttermilk because I don't have buttermilk, just regular cow's milk and some lemon juice. And then this recipe, you actually put shredded cheese in the corn, um, the corn meal waffle. All right, so here is what the batter looks like, and I'm just filling my waffle maker. You waffle maker? And let that go. Turn out really pretty. I'm also gonna roast some asparagus in the oven. It's my favorite way to have it. Then you put some balsamic brown butter sauce on top. Oh my gosh, so delicious. And asparagus is on sale right now. Like I got a pound for a dollar. Let me show you how you assemble these. All right, so I have some chili here. That's what I'm gonna put on next. I'm gonna try not to get a lot of juice. So if you have a thicker chili, that would probably work. Now you could go on with some cheese next, but you know, there's cheese in these waffles. So I'm gonna pass on that. Then we're gonna add some lettuce. And this is where you can get creative. So I have some Cholula sauce. And that's, that's my spicy stuff. Yes. Some homemade salsa. Yeah, that's spicy Some sour too. cream. You could do tomatoes, onions. So this is how we do Navajo taco night. It's delicious. Good morning, guys. This morning we are making muffins. I found this recipe just on the side of the Malto meal container. We're not going through this very quickly, so I thought I would use some to make some muffins. So I followed this recipe except for I have to try to make things healthier. That's just who I am. So instead of the all-purpose flour, I used whole wheat flour, and instead of the sugar, I actually subbed it out for some honey. So we are gonna get these into a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes, and I will show you what they look like when they come out. Okay, and here are the muffins out of the oven. Anybody is welcome to fruit if they would like with it. All right, for lunch today, we are making peanut butter and honey wraps. I'll get these folded up for the kids. There's also apples, bananas, and oranges if they want those, some carrots or cucumbers. So there's plenty of fruits and veggies to go alongside lunch today. All right, for dinner tonight, we are doing a form of taco salad. It's from the Trim Healthy Table cookbook. It's called like ranch hand taco salad, but it has chips and then it's got this bean mixture, which is turkey, black beans, pinto beans, and some corn with some spices in it, lettuce. Uh, my, my son loves fire so it's also, so that's what there is on top of there. And then like a homemade ranch dressing of yogurt and some spices, some tomato, some onions on it, and that, and some cheese too. That's what we're having for dinner tonight. All right, good morning guys. I am making a breakfast bake. In here I have some kale, some chopped onion. And in this bowl I have six whole eggs, a cup and a half of egg whites, a cup of cheese, and some salt and pepper. I got my inspiration from the Easiest Breakfast Casserole here in the Trim Healthy Table Cookbook, but I am kind of going rogue on that a little bit. I have some turkey sausage cooking up. So once this is done, I'm going to put that on top of my kale and onions and then pour my eggs on. 
top it with some cheese and then throw it into a 365 degree oven. For lunch today, we are making some grilled bean and cheese burritos. So I have some homemade or home cooked beans that I did in our instant pot the other day. And I have some mozzarella cheese. I'll put these in and then let me show you how we make them a little bit special. Okay, next I'm gonna take my burrito seam side down into a hot cast iron pan. We're gonna let them go for a minute or two. We don't want them to burn. But I like to do them cut side down since it'll kind of seal them and that's where the cheese is so it'll melt the cheese too. We discovered doing this when our microwave was broken and we needed to warm up our burritos and the kids really liked them this way. And that is what they look like after they've been grilled on one side. We're gonna serve these with some salsa, tomatoes, onions, maybe some lettuce and some yogurt or sour cream. That'll be lunch today. All right, so for dinner, we're doing a baked potato bar. So here we have a potato, I'm having some sweet potato, some onions on here. Then we have some homemade chili. We have some non-fat Greek yogurt for like sour cream. Some leftover turkey bacon that I just decided to throw on there. And some tomatoes and cheese. So we're gonna build up our sweet potatoes or regular potatoes. And that's what we're having. All right, good morning guys. Today we are doing a copycat orange Julius smoothie. So I will leave a link to her recipe down in the description box where I found this. And she calls for one orange. I don't have that this morning, so I'm using two cuties, some powdered stevia, vanilla extract, some, I don't know how to pronounce this, but this, I'm guessing it's like a thickener, and then some no, collagen almond milk, and some lemon juice with some salt. I know it sounds kind of weird to put lemon juice in it, but it gives it a really nice tang. So let me throw all this together and show you what it looks like. So to my orange, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of lemon juice, three quarters cup of almond milk or cashew milk, a sprinkle of salt, a dash of vanilla extract, a half a teaspoon of that thickener. I com it comes from a konjac root. Uh, two tablespoons of your collagen of choice. Then throw in some ice and give it a blend. It's so creamy and dreamy. Mm, I really hope you guys give this a try. For lunch today, I am making a turkey wrap for the kids. It has some shredded mozzarella cheese, turkey, mustard, mayo, some lettuce. And on the side, I found these sweet mini peppers. The kids really enjoy those, especially if you dip them in some homemade ranch dressing. And also some pickles on the side. So that is lunch for them today. All right, so honestly, I'm not feeling great tonight. I, I'm in my second trimester, but every once in a while, I just have a night that I don't feel myself. So today we are doing an easy dinner. I'm cooking up some of this whole wheat spaghetti. We have our homemade spaghetti sauce that we can ourselves. And I threw together this really simple salad, cucumbers, tomato, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and a little bit of Italian seasoning. So that is gonna be supper tonight. I probably just am not honestly gonna eat anything, maybe some salad, but the rest of the family is actually really excited for a spaghetti dinner, so that's dinner tonight. Good morning, guys. Today I am making a baked pancake. You can use your like favorite pancake recipe. This one has oats to make oat flour, some fat-free cottage cheese, some egg whites, almond extract, baking powder, and, and I now I'm just stirring in the rest of the blueberries I had in the freezer. I'm gonna pour it in a nine by 13 pan, bake it for 30 minutes at 350, and it turns out more like a cake, but I will show you when it's all done. All right, here it is out of the oven. I ended up baking it for about 40 minutes because it just wasn't done for me. I wanted it to be nice and golden brown. So now I'm gonna top it with some syrup or some like fruit sauce, anything like that, and that is gonna be our breakfast this morning. 
So for kid lunch today, we are having three hard boiled eggs, some cucumbers and two peanut butter and honey wraps. That's for my oldest. And we're just doing two eggs and one honey peanut butter wrap. So my second oldest is kind of like clean out the fridge and what else can I find for them? We had eggs left over that I hard boiled. So it's kind of a makeshift lunch today, but that's what they're having. All right, good afternoon guys. I am starting to make yeah. dinner and we are having chicken cakes. I know some of you requested seeing this. So I'm gonna try to give you step-by-step -step instructions. It does come from the Trim Healthy Table cookbook. This cookbook on page 237. So first we have some canned chicken. This is actually our own homegrown chicken and it kind of shreds up because it's been bottled. We have some onion and garlic that I sauteed in some butter. So that is in here first. Then I added in a quarter cup of the flour of your choice. This is a combination of almond flour, coconut flour, and, and I think it's oat fiber. It's been a while since I've made it, but they also said you can use oatmeal and you ground it just to make some flour. Then I'm gonna crack three eggs into my mixture. Now with my three eggs cracked in there, I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon of just yellow Mom. mustard and a couple tablespoons of mayo. Now for our spices, we're gonna add in just some pepper, some parsley, and some of this Tony Cashery's original Creole seasoning. This is pretty salty, that's why we're not adding salt to this. Now I'm gonna give this a stir. We're gonna form it into cakes and then we're gonna cook them in a cast iron pan with some oil in there and you're just making like you would a crab cake, but instead this is gonna be a chicken cake. And here they are cooking. I'm cooking them on medium to medium high heat and I'm just doing four at a time and once they're nice and golden brown, I'll turn them over, brown them on the other side and we'll serve these with a nice side salad. All right, and that is what dinner looks like tonight. There's the chicken cake and a nice side salad. Good morning guys, today we are doing breakfast tacos. We have some scrambled eggs, cheese, tomatoes, there's also salsa, hot sauce, ketchup, whatever the kids want on those. So that is what we're doing for breakfast. And of course there's apples if they want some fruit or applesauce, so that we're, that's what we're doing today. All right guys, it is lunch time. So in this bowl I made some ranch kind of potato fries, I guess, in the oven. I cut them up into kind of potato, wow, in french fries, that's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, you kind did. of french fries. <laughs> I dossed them in some olive oil and then I did it in my homemade ranch seasoning, which is garlic, onion, parsley, and salt. And I cooked those. And then we're gonna have those with some homemade chili, kind of like a chili cheese kind of fries. We have some asparagus on this side. Here's our cheese we're gonna put on top, some peppers on the side for some veggies. You can top the chili cheese fries with um, some Greek yogurt, also some salsa, tomatoes, jalapenos, but that's what we're having for lunch. All right, for dinner tonight, we made chicken jalapeno popper soup. I got this from the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook, but I've also seen it online a lot, so on Pinterest or just Google it. It's so good, it's not overly creamy, which we all really enjoyed and it still has some texture to it. If I were to make it again next time, I would use petite diced tomatoes rather than just diced tomatoes because that was the only objection from one of our children. So other than that, it was absolutely delicious. So that was dinner tonight. Good morning guys. Today we are doing egg and cheese sandwiches, some toast we got from Costco, and there's a bunch of fruit they can have on the side. And that is breakfast today. Hey friends, for dinner tonight we are making a take on Reuben in a bowl. It's, it's totally my own version because I don't use most of the ingredients it calls for, but in here I have about a two and a half pound of corned beef, and in the bottom I have some water with some garlic powder. I put the corned beef on top of my trivet and sprinkled the seasoning packet that came with the corned beef. I'm gonna put it on sealing, and I'm gonna do manual high pressure for 90 minutes. I'm gonna let that do its thing. So while that meat is cooking, I'm going to prep my huge head of cabbage. I'm gonna get this all cut up and shredded. And then I'm also going to shred 
this block of Swiss cheese, just however much this makes. I'm gonna shred the whole thing. All right, the corned beef is all out of the Instant Pot and I just chopped it a little bit. So that looks beautiful. And then over here in my skillet, I have that whole huge head of cabbage cooking down in some of the butter. It really wilts a lot. But that is actually looking about done to me. Now at this point you can add sauerkraut, the recipe calls for, but our family's not a fan of it, so we are gonna skip that step. And then over here in my blender, I have mayo, ketchup, pickles, and hot sauce. And this is going to be like a dressing that goes on it. So I'm gonna give this a blend. Okay, we have it all set up. Usually the recipe calls for you to mix it all together, but our family, ex I mean, except for the dressing, like you mix the corned beef in with the cabbage, you let it sit for a few minutes and you add cheese into it. But our family Mama. likes things separate. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. Um, everybody can make up a bowl, put it on bread. Again, this isn't a true Reuben because a true Reuben you would use pastrami, but you know, we just make do with what we like. So this is dinner tonight. All right, and here is my bowl. That's what it looks like. The kids are having theirs in a tortilla, or you could put it on bread. Well, thank you guys for coming along with me throughout our week. If you like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section below if you would like to see more of our frugal weeks. I hope you enjoyed all the different food that we ate this week. I hope you're having an awesome day wherever you are, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.